All right, so Paul, you are an expert in all things CFL. So let's start at the very beginning. What is the Grey Cubs origin? Well, it dates back to 1909. It's, it's, it's more than 100 years old. It, uh, it was given for the, the championship. I believe it was a, the, the Dominion Rugby Football Championship donated by uh, the Earl of Grey, uh, the guy, same guy that the T is named after. So it goes back that far. And it gradually over time became the, the, tr- the trophy for the professional football champions in Canada, which is the Canadian Football League. All right. And just like the Super Bowl is one of the largest sporting events in the United States, so too is a Grey Cup here in Canada. So how did this football championship get so big? And what is the significance of this coveted trophy? Well, you know what, really, the, 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 becoming a huge phenomenon really dates back to 1948. That was the year that the Calgary Stampeders came east for the first time to play in the Grey Cup and hundreds of Calgary fans packed trains to get to Toronto. But they also brought at least one horse and the horse went into the lobby of the Royal York hotel and a gray cup legend was born. And from that point on, the gray cup was known as the grand national drunk. Let's bring us up to speed on the current events and the matchup that's going to be happening this weekend. Uh, We know that Winnipeg met Hamilton back in 2019 for the gray cup two years ago, of course, 2020's gray cup was canceled due to the pandemic. So these two teams, this is a rematch. Can you tell us a little bit more about the history between the tie cats and the bombers? You know, these teams, Miranda, actually have a pretty significant history of meeting up in the Grey Cup. They met six times between, I believe it was 1957 and 1965. Uh, with the Bombers, I believe, winning four of them and the Tiger Cats winning two. They were, they were the two big best teams in the early 60s, and they were great rivals then. Uh, they also met in the 1984 Grey Cup, uh, with Winnipeg winning at that time. And uh, they uh, have, are, have now met, as you said, two years in a row, or two Grey Cups in a row, with, with the missing year in between. Uh, they, in, another thing that sort of brings them together is that in the 2019 Grey Cup, Winnipeg ended the longest active drought of gray cups in the cfl they won after 29 years without winning and now the team with the longest active drought is the hamilton tiger cats they've gone 22 and they're hoping to break their drought on sunday all right well we'll just have to wait and see paul thank you so much for your time today thanks very much Miranda. nice talking to you that's paul woods cfl historian